Hey, it's Bianca from Lotus Area Designs. In this video, we're gonna go over how I transformed this basic jewelry box into a fantastic tropical breeze. During the prep process, I did add some Would You Bend moldings to spice up the base of the box. Let's talk about blending. The colors I'm using are Florida Orange and Daisy. So, as you see, I started with a base coat of Florida Orange. I did a total of three coats. From there, I am adding more Florida Orange as well as Daisy in the center. Once I have the colors on there, I grab the Best Staying brush, the new blending brush from Dixie Belle, and I blend the colors. It is important to keep your paint wet. The video is going pretty quickly, but I do have a Mr. Bottle close by and I am spritzing the canvas with the water. As far as the technique I am using to blend the paint, again, once I get the paint on there, I reach for the Best Staying brush and I am using a swirling motion to transition the colors into one another. I repeat this technique around the entire frame and then I move on to the top. The drawers will be revealed later. They have a separate identity from the base. I will also note that I will be using one of Dixie Belle's new Bells and Whistles transfers, in this case called Tropical Leaves. So I knew I needed something bright and bold and happy as a base coat. Once I have my piece completely covered, I am able to move on to shadowing. In this next step, I will be using Dixie Belle's Barn Red to shadow the edges of the box. I start by putting a little bit of paint onto a Dixie Belle synthetic mini brush, and I brush away the excess onto a styrofoam plate. Using a dry brush technique, you will see that I am using the edge of my brush to lightly dust on the barn red color into the edges. You'll notice I went a bit heavy in some places, so in order to remedy this, I did grab a different brush, in this case Dixie Belle's round small brush, spritzed it with a little bit of water, and then using a swirling motion was able to blend in that red better. You'll see me use this technique throughout this process. Watch as I continue to add this red shadowing around the box in entirety, including the top. Next, the fun begins. We get to use Dixie Belle's new Tropical Leaves transfers on the drawer fronts. You'll see that I painted them white, in this case, cotton. I went ahead and gave the drawers a separate identity from the rest of the box so that they stood out. Before I talk about how I am applying the transfer, I would like to make a note that these drawers did dry overnight before adding the transfer. This is a very important step you want to make sure that your paint is very, very dry before you add a transfer to it. Otherwise, the moisture could reject the transfer. So let's go over some tips on how to apply Dixie Belle's New Bells and Whistles transfers. Step one, remove the transfer from its protective backing and apply it to where you want it on your piece. Once you have your transfer all lined up and positioned to your liking, you can begin to burnish it using the stick that is included in your transfer tube. Burnishing in this case is using the stick to press the transfer onto your piece, simultaneously removing the outer protective layer. Note, take your time removing that outer layer as you burnish. If you remove it too quickly, you run the risk of tearing your transfer. So, pay attention to what I'm doing here. I burnish the transfer on while also removing that outer layer. And then I take my finger and I make sure that all of the edges are pressed in. And also I am feeling for any air bubbles. Here's a trick for you. If you do find that your transfer has some air bubbles underneath, you can easily release the air by taking the tip of an X-Acto knife, poking the spot where the bubble is and pressing down and burnishing that in. This should release the air. And also, if you don't create a large tear, 
with the X-Acto knife, it will be totally unnoticeable. So you'll see that I moved on from the drawers and made the decision to go ahead and apply some of the bigger transfer designs onto the base of the box. I worked my way all the way around the box, including the top. For this last step, I am using Dixie Belle's Gold Gilding Wax over the Would You Bend palm leaves to give them a nice pop. Lastly, all I had to do was add my hardware and voila, I have a finished, upcycled, vintage jewelry box. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today. Go ahead and use the links in the description to place your order for these amazing products. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys next time.